Two words came to me this morning, if then. And I thought about in math, there are if then statements. Like if P equals something, then Q is greater than whatever number. I'm taking y'all to math here. I don't want to confuse anybody. Anybody who's not math savvy may not understand. But it's in effect what they call a conditional statement. The first part of the statement has to be true. In order for the conclusion to be true, then it makes it a true statement. If the beginning is true and the conclusion is false, then it's not a conditional statement. And it made me think about, if you're following with me here, it made me think about the conditions in which we place on people or things in our lives. If I'm to be successful, I have to make this amount of money. Then if that's true, then if you don't make that amount of money, then you're not successful. If this person loves me and they really care about me, then they wouldn't do X, Y, Z. If they didn't make me upset, then I wouldn't have reacted the way that I reacted. If this situation goes doesn't go my way, then I'm going to do this. We continually, I can continue to provide examples like that over and over again, but if you're getting my point, we're putting conditions on things that are unconditional. We're putting our life in a condition when our reactions to situations aren't contingent upon the things that are going on in our lives or the situations or the circumstances that are going on in our lives. John 14, 15 in the NIV, it says, if you love me, keep my commands. Notice it doesn't say, if you love me, then keep my commands. Jesus doesn't place conditions on us. His love for us is unconditional. Down at uh, John 14, verse uh, 23, or verse 23, it says, Jesus replied, because Judas is scary to ask him, you know, why are you going to reveal yourself to us and not the rest of the world? There's people that's going to try to make us, and this, just to add to context to this scripture, in John, in this part of John, Jesus is about to be crucified. He knows that his time on earth is limited. So he's letting his disciples know what it is that's about to happen, uh, how the, he's going to be able to, he's going to be crucified, and then he's going to leave, or his Holy Spirit will come to them and comfort them. And in this part, he's letting them know, if you love me, keep my commands. It didn't say then, because then it adds conditions on it. God is, Jesus is telling them, if you love me, keep my commands. And in verse 23, it says, Jesus replied, anyone who loves me will obey my teaching. My father will love them and we will come to them and make our home with them. So if the spirit of God is within us, if we have a relationship with him, which is what he's yearning for us to have with him, the love that we have for him, it will allow for us to keep his commands. It's going to be simple. It's not going to be difficult. It's not going to, to, to be like pulling teeth here. It's relationship, and that's the relationship that he wants to have with us, so that way we can reflect that level of relationship with the people that he's put in front of us, which are made in his image and his likeness, just like we are. We're reflecting his love from him to other people who are made in the image of him, and that's what he wants us to do. It's not conditional. It's unconditional, which is agape love. Agape love is unconditional love. Love without bounds. And that's what God wants us to do. He's boundless. He's, he operates outside of the bounds of our world, which is our time, which is our conditions, which is how we're feeling. Love is not a feeling. Love is a decision. Will you make the decision to love as Christ has called us to do, to love our neighbors as we love ourselves, to love him with all our heart, all our mind, and all our strength? These are his greatest commands. And if we love him, we'll keep it because God is residing inside of us. And we're operating not out of our own capacity, out of him, which doesn't have a, a limit, that is limitless, that is unlimited. And we can outpour the love that he's put inside of us because it isn't a capacity that we have. It's him who gives us the strength to love outside of our own bounds.